everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Also, HardbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So we have another Ameritron AL811. It's an older one. So I'm going to replace the plate choke with the newer style. Put a parasitic board in, do the bias mod, add the diodes on the rear board, which set the static plate current. I'm going to clean the tear relay, put in brand new SO239s from Mexican Systems, getting a, a brand new match trio of 572B tubes from Penta Labs. I believe it needs meter lamp diodes. Check the meter protection diode and uh, add gas discharge tubes. Also needs a new power cord because this is the wrong gauge. So someone also changed the fuse holders, but I'll leave those alone. So okay, when I removed the plate choke and the plate blocking ceramic disc cap, I noticed the solid conductor was not protruding through the board and the solder trace. Look at that. Got all hot and burnt up under there. I can fix it. Scrape the carbon off. I'm going to lengthen that conductor so it goes up through the board, not just touching the bottom of the board. So, back to work. So I'm waiting on the payment for the amp supply, but I got the AL811 going. It's all set. I'll show you everything I did after. I had to order some more LEDs, but Everything else is working, so customer wanted a video of it working on 20 meters. The radio on 20 meters here. Audio set to roughly 50 watts. Okay, yep. Audio hello, hello, hello. Shh, shh, shh. Audio hello, 600 on the button. Audio hello, 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 hello. 1KW slug, 1KW slug. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio t t t t t hello, 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 hello. There are the settings right there. Hello, 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 hello. Works as it should. So I'll let the tubes cool off for few for like a minute or so, and I'll pop the cover off after the high voltage bleeds down. Of course, I'll unplug it too. Okay, see you soon. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick video. I am tired and I, and I wanna relax. So, I get up at 4.15 every morning. I start work by five o'clock. I also did the hard box stuff, the amp work. Okay, so, here's the inside. Did the bias modification, added the diodes to the rear board to set the static plate current. The older ones have no diodes, so ends up uh, the tubes are biased on harder, pulls more static plate current, which creates uh, more instability. Now it's rock solid, but it can, will create instability. And also, your your tubes are run hotter, pull more uh, current from the wall also, so you'll waste power. So that's why they switched over in the newer ones, and I always add it in the older ones, especially the four tuber. If you ever ground the, if you have a, a four tuber where the grids are not grounded, where you have uh, 51 or 50 ohm, 52 ohm resistors between the grid and ground, you always want to add those diodes, which is really important. Okay, so back to everything. I cleaned the TRS slash BIOS relay with Deoxygold, added new SO239s from Max Gain Systems, awesome company, awesome customer service, brand new set of Pentalab tubes, awesome, awesome, awesome company, brand new parasitic board, brand new plate choke, brand new plate blocking capacitor, added a a longer lead between the plate tune air variable cap and the trace on the board. So now it protrudes through the board, through the trace, and there's a little nub to solder onto and soldered really well. Before it was like maybe going through the board, but not really going through the trace. So it was getting really hot and then eventually it opened up. It's just bridged by solder. So you see everything down here. On the board, let me turn this nice and clean now. Got the gas discharge tubes, compress the socket clips, clean the input rotary switch with deoxy gold, output rotary switch, band switch with deoxy gold, and uh, touched up on other solder joints and tightened other hardware. And when the LEDs come, I'll install those. So, 
Also, the new line cord had the wrong gauge line cord. Now it has the uh, the right line cord, number 16. All right, so need an app repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. Websites are amprepairguy.com and also harbachelectronics.com. Thanks for watching. Time to go relax. 73.